like you to just as you're seated just say something to God just give him glory just say something to him la prade sa pade akashidaya breko so prade la hosh te katavina ndro fasatali afradosh te katavila ina breko so prade la pa shantavia na saita badia thank you daddy thank you for being who you are faithful god we bless you we lift you above all names we celebrate you lord we honor you king of kings we glorify you lord nakabusha tavila brako so pregedai mashata yema klaho sapataya take all the glory lord for your faithfulness we exalt you we lift you above all names thank you lord thank you lord now there's somebody there you have a right here impediment and the lord is healing it now <coughs> it is in the right here put your hand there now i break the power of that impediment in the name of jesus i command you spirits of deafness leave that here now and I release the power of God into that here for total healing. Begin to hear with that here now. In the name of Jesus. If you test it, it's working now. There's somebody also, you have a left thigh problem. It's in the hip. The, almost the whole of the left leg. The Lord is healing it now. I break the power of that affliction in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Daddy. There's also somebody you have a heavy chest pain in the center part of your chest. You feel it even now. Put your hand there. The power of that affliction is broken in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, ancient of days. Mabala navrata sopra keshut alababaye. It's not by power. It's not by might, but by my spirit, said the Lord. And the affliction will not rise up a second time. Now, there's somebody, your position is being contended for. Some powerful people are trying to snatch your position, and you don't know. You don't know. I, I'm not informed about what kind of position but somebody's position is being contended for and the person is here is listening on to me now your your for you to know you are the one i'm talking about your teeth your teeth will be set on edge now your teeth will be set on edge you feel um this sorry feeling in your teeth now your teeth will be set on edge. Oh, yes. Touch him. Let him know. Oh, yes. Touch him. Let him know. And if you feel it now, just put your right hand on your head. I'm going to pray for you. La parada sa pati la hush te katalia. Brati so fregedosh te kataliman si pradia. Yes. Thank you. I got the right person. Now, I come against the power of the devil in your life. That attempt to take your position is truncated. In the name of Jesus, I speak judgment against the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. I give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right. Now let's open our Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 30. I'm struggling, trying to make sure I keep to time. And uh, I have to do that from the beginning. 1 Samuel chapter 30. There's a story there. God gave it to me for you yesterday. And I need to quickly look at the story. Look at it from verse 1. The Bible says, now it happened when David and his men came to Ziklag 
on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag attacked Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken captive the women and those who were there from small to great. They did not kill anyone but carried them away and went their way. So David and his men came to the city and there it was, burned with fire and their wives, their sons and their daughters had been taken captive. Then David and the people who were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives, Ahinoam the Jezreelites, and Abigail the widow of Nabal the Camelite, Camelite had been taken captive. Now David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and his daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. Let me leave it there for now. And uh, maybe, maybe I will still uh, go back to read it. I mean the rest of the story. The Lord said that there are some group of people here, there are some individuals here, who have experienced something like what David experienced. Now, what David experienced was called, I mean, it's something we call devastation. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. Sometimes things you don't expect happen. You just find yourself in challenging situations. Actually, what happened to David was that uh, for so long, he was confronted by a strong enemy. And that was Saul, a man who was anointed to bless Israel, but turned his anointing against David and was pursuing David everywhere. And uh, he got to a point, David had to run away from Israel to preserve his life. He had to pretend to be a lunatic in some challenging situations to survive. And then he got to a, 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 a situation, he got tired of all of it and said, look, I'm, not, I'm no longer going to be with brethren. Let me go to the unbelievers. And he pitched his tent with the Philistines. He began to live amongst them. And while he was living with the Philistines for so long, he was still fighting the battles of Israel. He was still defending the people of God. But one day, he got to a very bad state. And he turned his anointing against Israel. He turned his grace against Israel. He went and joined the army of the Philistines with an intention of going to battle with Israel. And the moment you begin to fight against the people of God, of course, the enemy will gain access to you. So somehow, the devil find an access to the family of David, to the property of David, the first city that was named after David, Ziklag. The enemy went there and devastated the place when David was not around. I call it devastation. It happens to children of God sometimes. And the Lord gave me that story because there is somebody here who have experienced some dimension of devastation. Of course. I wasn't sent to come and tell you that you have experienced devastation. That's not my message. My message is taken from the experience of David there. David made up his mind. I shall recover all. And that's the message I have for you this morning. I shall recover all. And I'd like you to say it to yourself. I shall recover all. You know, this is a prayer, a prayer time. But that's the focus of the prayer this morning. I shall recover all. Everything the enemy took away from me, I shall recover all. 
Meanwhile, let me take it a little further. In the case of David, there was complete devastation. But you know that sometimes devastations happen without you even knowing. Because some of the things that the enemy took away from you, maybe you didn't even know you had it before. It could be a position that God had prepared for you, but you never assessed it. You know, I, was, I showed us yesterday that sometimes God declares something in heaven, and on earth we have not received it. I gave you the story of the widow of Zarephath. You remember her case? That woman was commanded by God to care for Elijah and enjoy the entire period of the famine in Israel. Now, that woman didn't even know she was getting ready to die. And many of us, we never discover what God has done for us. You haven't assessed it because somebody else is sitting on that throne. That glory that was meant for you, somebody else is enjoying it. You have not stepped into it. And as a result of that, you didn't even know that you had it. But the enemy took it away from you already. You were walking in a place and there's a position you are meant to stay in. Some other people, because of their connection, took it away before the announcement was even made. But it was meant for you. And somebody else is enjoying that benefit. There are plenty of Vashtis around who are sitting on the thrones that was meant for Esther. Now, Esther didn't know that Vashti was sitting on her throne until Vashti was dismissed from that position. Now, there are some of you like that, positions, glories, blessings that are meant for you. The enemy is sitting upon it now. But by the time we finish our prayers this morning, the hand that made the heavens and the earth shall bring restoration into your life. In essence, this morning, the focus of our prayer is restoration. Sometimes that kind of a loss can come. Maybe because you're careless, you slept off. I, I remember when I, I was a student, I, I, I did some business as a student. I was selling uh, 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 beef on campus. I had towards the tail end of my stay on campus. I think uh, you have a new Gatsy law by that time. You know, it was my senior on campus. Good morning, sir. You know, I should have. <laughs> so I was selling beef. And at that time, I went to buy, I, I took a loan to buy, a, uh, to buy two cows at a time. It used to be just one per week at that time. But I said, let me expand. So I took a loan to buy two. And you know, Nigerian Naira at that time were small, small currencies. And it was challenging to carry the money to the market. So I got a bag and put the money inside. And I entered one, what do you call it now? One this uh, Sole stuff. It was, it was a Volkswagen B2. And I sat at the back. And you know, the money was so precious. So I carried it like this. Until sleep came. You know, I, I, I do stuff. And I left the bag in the car. When, I, when we got to Ibadan, because I was going to buy it from, I, I left from Ife to buy it in Ibadan. When I got to Ibadan, the, the driver woke me up. He said, where, where are you dropping? Ah, I said, that's exactly, in fact, he stopped, he called me at the right time. I said, ah, it's here, I would stop. He won't run. And he stopped for me. I jumped down. I didn't remember there was any bag. But good enough, the guy kept on saying that he was going to UI, University of Ibadan, to do some business. So I, I knew where he was going. But I left my bag in the car. I went to buy the stuff. I got to Lodo Market where I should buy the cow. I picked the cows I wanted. I didn't even remember there was any money. I picked the cows, and it was time to pay. And then I'm like, ah, money. Where? Then I remember bag, 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 bag. Hey, I screamed there. All the money is gone. Mine and the borrowed one, everything gone. What do I do, Lord? Thank God I have the Lord at that time. 
He said, slow down. Just relax. Just relax. Where did you put it? I, I, mesh, I, I located where I put it. When was the last time you saw it? I remembered. Okay, so what do we do from now? The Lord said, speak to the bag at a distance. That it shall not be stolen. So I spoke to the bag. Stay where you are. I'm coming to get you. <laughs> now, how do I get the vehicle? He said, he told you he was going to UI. Go to UI. So like that, I jump in. I, I could just sit down there and hold my head and cry. And it will be lost forever. But I made up my mind. I shall recover it. So I took a vehicle straight to UI. Makashakata. I was like a madman. Blowing tongues everywhere. Where is that car? Where is that man? Where? And I was going all over UI. Taking a, a vehicle from one to the other. From one part to the other. And I was like, where do I go? Holy Spirit. And then he said, go to the department. I mean, you, uh, what do you call it? Education department. Faculty or something. Ed education. And I went to education. As I Jump, as I got to education like this, I saw the beetle jump out from somewhere. You know, I ran after it like a crazy man, screaming. Arr! And then the man eventually stopped. And I told him, my bag is in your car. You remember me? He said, yes, I remember you, the sleeping guy. I said, yes, my bag is in your car. He said, it can't be there because nobody has seen it. I, I, I will see it myself. I went there and I found my bag intact. And after I got the bag, I am like, thank you, Lord, for giving me the bag back and the money. Everything intact. Let me go home. I know no business this week. The Lord said, that's if you say so. I said, it's early in the money you buy cow. You can't buy it in the hot afternoon again. It's too late. It will be difficult. It will be very expensive. The Lord said, that's if you say so. <laughs> so I, make it, I made a declaration. I will get the best cow today. Let's go back there. And I went there. And some stuff, some people brought their cow late. They arrived just as I arrived. And they knew that the best of the market had gone. So they were ready for anything. I bought the two cows and I had change. You know, because God gave me complete restoration. And I'm telling you something today. The Lord will bring restoration into your life. Everything you have lost, you will have it restored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me stop preaching. I just gave you my story. That's good enough. It's prayer we want to pray. Now, if you are there and you have lost something, first and foremost... I'd like you to rise up before God. Rise before God, the maker of the heavens and the earth. You know one thing, I will have given you seven points, the things David did. But the first thing is David encouraged himself in the Lord. He didn't spend all the time crying. Some of us like crying, 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 crying. You just think that's the normal thing to do. You just cry. It's good to cry. In fact, sometimes when devastations bad ones happen. Even if you don't want to cry, the, the tears will come out by itself. So it's not a strange thing that you cry. But if all you do is cry, nothing will come. So encourage yourself in the Lord. And then David consulted, he sought the assistance of God. That's what we want to do now. He takes God to bring restoration. And you know something about God what you lost may have been taken completely. If God wants to bring restoration, it doesn't cost him anything to build another one for you, to create another one for you. That's, what we call, that's why we call him God of a second chance. He has the capacity to make another one. So forget about what had happened to what was taken. Forget about that. And you know, another thing that we add to that, time will not permit me to go through all the stories. But you see, when David restored, got back with his wives, it wasn't only what David lost that he got back. He got booties along with it. When God's restoration comes, he comes with Ajasa. Uh, you know Ajasa now? Uh, Jara. 
there must be a jara on top. That's what shows you that it is God. So this morning, the Lord is going to bring restoration to you. Your restoration will come with a jasa. In the name of Jesus. But the last point I will mention was that David pursued the enemy. Just like I pursued after the money. You must go after. There's a song, a Yoruba song. He said, Mole mo ba, mo to ba, ba da. Mole mo ba, mo to ba, ba da. Mole mo ba, mo to ba, ba da. Ile mo ba, mo ta ba da. Sing it once more. Mole mo ba, mo to ba. Pursuing means hard work. If you read that scripture very well, David pursued them for, is it two days or so? And then he got there and fought from three lights to the following day. It's hard work for restoration. So I need to say that. But the first prayer you are going to pray, connect me back to it. All that I lost. Some of you, it is the life for, in the life of your child. You didn't give him attention when you should. And now there's trouble there. Connect me back, Lord. Connect me back now. Connect me back now. Everything I lost, I need connection. Connect me back to it. Can you pray that prayer? Connect me back to it. The giver of life. I have come to your presence. Where there is help. I know I cannot do it by my strength. I need you to help me. Connect me back to my property. To my joy. To my strength that was taken. To my beauty that was taken. To my home that was taken. Connect me back to it, Lord. Ask for connection. Ask for connection. There is no distance in the spiritual realm. There is nothing God cannot do. There is no limit to his strength. Connect me back, oh God. Please connect me back to what was taken away from me. My throne that was taken by the wicked. My kids that were taken away from me. Connect me back to him. My grace that was taken away from me. Connect me back to it. Let the power of connection be done in my life. Let there be restored. Connection. Let there be 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 connection. In Jesus' name we pray. You are going to pray. Let no one have free, real access or, you know, to what is mine. You know, somebody, somebody said he was going to sell my land. And I laugh. If you try to sell it, you will never get a buyer. Is it on my land? You never get a buyer. You know, what, what I call my land, let me tell you. There's an, a, a place close to our land, my, my home. You know, it was 20 something acres sometimes back. And there was this seven acres somebody wanted, some family wanted to sell. And I said, I will buy it. So I said, I will pay you twice. You know, I'll pay this and pay this. 
And they said, no, we want you to pay everything. I said, I don't have it now. I'll pay twice. That is the agreement. That's what I can do. They said, no, we are not. We need the money, all of it. I said, okay. Sell it to another person if you can. It's mine. I already bought it. In a spiritual realm. I've not paid. So you have not signed document. But you can't sell the land. They said, we will sell. I said, go and sell. Go and sell. When, I'm, when, when you are ready to sell, come back to meet me. And I just spoke. They won't succeed. There were some people who were also contending to buy it at that time. They were ready to pay. That's why they said, okay, pastor, don't worry. We see that you don't have the money now. We will sell. And when we have other lands to sell, you can sell. I need addition to my land. You can sell it. It's my own. They tried and tried and tried. After two years, I called them. Are you ready to sell now? And they said, we thought you would not buy it again. If you are going to buy, we are ready to sell every time. Okay, come. And then I now paid for it. You don't sell my property. It's my own. You are going to pray. That fellow who took your husband, eh? it was because you allowed her. <laughs> She's just enjoying your husband. The one who is sitting on the throne is because he is able to sit there. Now, everyone that is sitting on what belongs to me, let the trouble of heaven trouble them. Can you pray that prayer? Nobody will be able to use that which is mine. Nobody will be able to use that which is mine. In the name of Jesus. They took David's wife, they could not do anything with them. They took Abraham's wife, they could not do anything with her. They took Isaac's wife, they could not do anything with her. Nobody will be able to take what is mine. Nobody will be, will be able to use what is mine. In the name of Jesus, nobody. The throne that is meant for me, nobody will sit upon it. The promotion that is meant for me, nobody will assess it. The fund that is meant for me, nobody will assess it. In the name of Jesus, no one will have real access to what is mine. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now number three, I want to pursue what is mine. But you know, you don't even know where the thing is. It takes the Holy Spirit to help you pursue. I told you I was pursuing that money everywhere. I didn't know where to go until I got tired. I said, Lord, what do I do? And then he said, go to faculty of education. He gave me clear direction. And I went there and the car bolted out. I said, ah, that is it. That's when I could pursue. If I did it, if the Lord had not given me the, the direction, I would not have pursued. Where would I pursue? <laughs> How do you know where to go? Now you're going to pray. I need assistance to pursue, Lord. Grant me assistance, wisdom, direction, help. Help from above. Release it to me. I want to pursue what is mine. Release grace from heaven. Release help from heaven. I want to pursue what is mine. Help from above. Assist me every way, every step of the way. In the name of Jesus. Assist me every step of the way. In the name of Jesus. Assist me every step of the way. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now this assistance can be supernatural also. Some people, a, a new family rose up on a land that was our own. 
they said they are the original owner, the ones who had it before, and they drove my people from the place. I said, ah, Is it time to fight? Lord, the Lord said, No fighting, no, don't fight with them. All. He said, They gave a phone number. He said, Call him. So I called, even not knowing what to say, I called. Hello, as he, met, as he picked the phone, the Holy Spirit said, Tell him. He has this, this, this problem. Tell him to go and pray in that place. It's our prayer mountain. So I called the guy. I said, hello, how are you? He said, who, who am I speaking with? I said, you have this problem. And I told him his problem. He kept quiet for like a minute. I said, are you still there? He said, I'm wondering who you are. I said, I'm, I'm a man of God. He said, yes, now I know. You have that problem? He said, yes. Okay, go to, and I mentioned Ileitura, go and, I mean Ileano, go and pray there. You pray there three days, and your problem will be solved. Ah, he said, Ileano, Ileano, is that not the place they, we have contention about? I said, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Ah, he says, I will go there. I will go and pray. Because that problem you mentioned is a big problem in my life. I will go there. He went and prayed. His problem was resolved. He called me up. He said, sir, the problem has gone up. I need you to come and meet our ballet so that we can solve this problem. It was he now that was trying to solve the problem. The day I went to see their ballet, as the man was bluffing and talking and claiming to be one, the spirit said, look at him. He's going to die very soon. And the signal of death is on his body already. I said, what do you want me to do? He said, call him and tell him. Don't tell him in the presence of everybody. Take him to his side and tell him. So I took him to one side. I said, come, Bale. I have a message for you. He said, what message? I said, come. He came. And I told him. Instantly, he said, praise God. Eh? You are a man of God. Ah! Instantly, the discussion changed. And I told him what God said. I told him what to do. I said, go and pray in that land. Seven days. You're only seven days. Fast. And you go there every, every day for seven days. At the end of the seven days, call me on phone. I will pray for you. And you will not die again. Ah, he said, you know, doctors have told me what you said. I don't know what to do. Now I know. He went there and prayed. At the end of the matter, I said, Look, I'm the ballet of this family. This man is man of God. That land is our prayer land. <laughs> no more matter. No more story there. God can give you supernatural help on the way. Listen to me. I am a servant of God. You may not be that. But supernatural help is not limited to men of God. It's for all of us. He comes in various ways. So you're going to pray. Give me supernatural assistance to reclaim what is mine. Can you pray that prayer? Give me supernatural help. Supernatural help to reclaim what is mine. Give me supernatural help. In the name of Jesus. Help from above. Help from above. Angelic assistance to reclaim what is mine. Give it to me, Lord. Give it to me, Lord. I want to recover everything. Help from above. Help from above. Help from above, Lord. Give me help from above. In the name of Jesus. Give me help from above. I shall recover it. Give me help from above. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Number four. David did not go alone to fight that battle. Some people helped him. Some people went with him. You will also need people to help you. So you are going to pray, give me assistance as I pursue what belongs to me. You know, when Esther was going to step into the position of the queen, the Bible said they they. Chief Chamberlain, I mean, what was the title of that guy? The one in charge there 
gave favor to Esther. Some people on the way need to show you favor as you recover. Let me find the favor of men. Can you pray that prayer? Let me find favor. Let me find assistance from men. In the name of Jesus. Let me find help. Let me find grace. Let me find help. Let me find grace. In the name of Jesus. Let me find help. Let me find grace. Let men assist me. Let men help me. Let men assist me. Let men assist me. In Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayers. You are going to pray, snatch it back from the mighty and give it back to me. Snatch it from them, the mighty. The mighty who are holding my position, snatch it from them and give it back to me. Can you pray that prayer? Snatch it from them. Jack Balowo won Lua. Jack Bada for me. Jack Bada. Jack Balowo won. Snatch it from them. Everyone that is sitting on what belongs to me, snatch it from them. Take it from them. Haman was enjoying what was meant for Mordecai. The Lord snatched it from him and gave it to Mordecai. Snatch it from them and give it back to me, Lord. Snatch it from them and give it back to me, Lord. Snatch it from them and give it back to me. Makeluno shoto ye mambro koto sinda ya baba. Makature to limambro soto limambro te ya. Snatch it from them and give it to me. Everyone that is sitting on what is meant for me. Everyone that is taking what belongs to me. Snatch it from them and give it back to me. He <laughs> Mojilani me koto sheke de boto sinda ya baba. Ulo me katoro keto sinda ya baba baba. In Jesus name we pray. Now there is there is a group of people here. A blessing is coming your way, but he's finding it difficult to enter. Okay, I'm coming to that. Yes, a blessing is coming your way, and it's finding it difficult to enter. Because some forces, some witchcraft powers are blocking it off. And I need to pray for you. Some of you, you already know. Some, you don't know. Those who don't know, this is how you will know. Now you're going to feel, uh, okay, you're going to feel an headache. Let's use headache, Lord. Let's do that. Use headache. You're going to feel headache that you were not feeling before. If you feel it, that means this is for you also. But you already know. Come, come to the altar. We're going to pray for you. A blessing is coming your way. You know. But it's finding it difficult to enter. Some forces are blocking it. Just step to the altar. Just step to the front here. Just step to the front. 
And if you suddenly begin to feel an headache, you too come and join them. Because that means it concerns you also. Now, if you are standing in front, I'd like you to put your two hands on your head. I'm not going to touch you because of time and uh, space. Just put your hand, your two hands on your head. It's as potent as my hand also. It's not my hand. It's the Holy Spirit that does the work. Yes, just put your two hands on your head if it concerns you. Kabilo sepradia. Kashata mingalimo sepradia. Ashmondios, you spirit of witchcraft. I break your power over these people. Get out of the way in the name of Jesus. God gave Jesus a name that is above every name. That in the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. You have tormented their blessing for too long. You have kept their blessing on your altar for too long. I stand on the exalted altar of the Lord. And I speak by the unction of the Spirit of God. Take off your hands in the name of Jesus. I command every of such blessings that have been delayed. Come right in in the name of Jesus. The mighty power of God in the name of Jesus. Move now. Move now. Move now. Thank you, Lord. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody's strength is being restored. Yes. Yes. Somebody's glory is being restored. Aha. Skaleba Shatavira to Saida Vingalaba Shatavia. Somebody, you are feeling something in your body now. You're feeling some fire in your body. Don't be worried. The power of God is destroying it, it's destroying the work of the wicked. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. There's, a, there's somebody you are from a family. Name, things, good things. They always threaten to come. They never come. Good things. You always see the cloud. You never see the rain. But by the unction of the Spirit of God today, that yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's a lady there. Each time your period came like this, all your, 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 your blessing is washed away. But from today, that curse is broken. Yeah. That limitation is destroyed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Go back to your seat. One more prayer before I drop the microphone. Now you are going to command complete restoration. David came back with booties. He got everything that the enemy took away. And he came back with booty. One last prayer. I must recover everything. Plus booties, Lord. Can you pray that prayer? Plus booties. Everything the enemy took away from me, I will recover everything. I will have everything back. I will bring back booties along. I will bring everything back. In the name of Jesus. There shall be no loss. 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 In the name of Jesus. David got his two wives. He got his children. He got his clothes. He got his vehicles. He got everything that was taken away from him. And then he got additions. Blessings that were not his own properties before. To the extent that he was distributing to other people. Everything shall be restored. Everything shall be restored. Everything shall be restored. Everything shall be restored. 
ke bolo nombre kashata ya baba o vonam bra ka sofre ke to shekla gabo shedaya bra ka bolo vodongere ma shata ya badia mageto sekre ko de shadaya o jamem bra ko soto le mambro ko podonia he chole mambro ko polo vonte kazun teleba he chele ba kru ma ko to sonto le bere o jimam bro ko polo mi ataza ka to sende ya baba Bagaboro bolo bondori akata ye mondo zoboli ole mambro ko boto sinde ye in jesus name we pray I, I i i had to i was ministering in one church one day and one elderly man came forward for a prayer a breakthrough prayer as i laid hands on him for breakthrough the holy spirit said tell him to go back home so i removed my hand i said alagba you are not at home. He said, I'm at home with my wife. I said, it's not your wife. There is a home somewhere. He said, yes, I left them. Ah, go back to them because they are your home. This other woman, you got with her. He said, yes, I don't like, go back home. When he got back home, the wife had been praying that her husband should come back home. But the interesting part of it was that before he left, he was always beating her up, kicking her, and all of that. That woman, when she gave her testimony, she said it was a different husband that came back. Because by the time he came back, he had seen all dimensions of things. He was a different man entirely. Okay. So, I can tell you plenty of stories about that. What you are going to do, this final prayer, this prayer, we are going to take it again. You want God to go and walk on that person before he comes back. On that thing before he comes back. So that he comes back better. He comes back. You know, the Bible says all things work together for good. It must be for your good. This time around, he must come back with glory, with joy. That position must come back with peace. Not the kind that you stay there and somebody is fighting, challenging you. Let them know that you don't toy with this fellow. Let it come with a blessing. Can you pray that last prayer again? The prodigal son, when he came back, he was a different boy. He was a different boy. He was a different boy. He must be better. He must be a better glory. A better blessing. Shepa lima sapra gado shepra debano shakate la mamama. Omon grege do shekrege do shabali amasai grabo shebadua. Adraman Koreba Saida Kajeman Tokoleba Garani Asaida Ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Now today is a Yoruba day. There's another Yoruba song you are going to sing. Ba ba oru da mo pada for me. To sing it three times. Ba oru.
woman there. Because of health situations, you lost your marriage. It's not recent. It's been long now. You have been battling with that health challenge. And as a result of that, your husband doesn't want to be with you again. And you have been battling with that situation for a while. The Lord has spoken concerning you. Double blessing. That affliction is uprooted. And your home is restored. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Now, everybody, lift up your two hands. Oh, not everybody. You need restoration. Lift up your two hands. Sabi lama katori hashatavi alabasa takadia. Rabolin kasatavindo sheba di navinko saita balaya. Oromani shefayatio. The giver of life. I have delivered your message. And these people lifting up their hands claim to be the one you are speaking to. They want restoration. Oh, my father. <laughs> Let there be restoration. There is only one name given amongst men by whom we can be saved. And that is the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. Everyone that took what belonged to you, wherever they may be, the power of the Holy Spirit will arrest them. The power of the Holy Spirit will snatch your glory from them. The power of the Holy Ghost will give it back to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Drugs took your child from you. Drugs took your baby from you. And you are wounded in your spirit. I stand before the Lord. And I make a declaration. The power that holds the heavens and the earth. Bring restoration. Bring restoration. Bring restoration. The Bible said when the boy came to himself. He said, I will arise and go to my father. <laughs> Everywhere they may be, all your loved ones that were taken away from you, wherever they may be, let the hand of God touch them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, within the next three months, I want complete restoration. I want complete restoration. I want complete restoration. In the name of Jesus. That child will say, I don't know what happened to me. Something just happened. Oh, I had a dream. Oh, somebody spoke to me. Let angels speak to them. Let angels speak to them. Let angels speak to them. The God of the heavens and the earth. All these people that are saying amen to this prayer. Some of them have lost blessings that they didn't even know about. They didn't even know that heaven released it for them. But the enemy took it away. Oh, the God of my anointing. The one who sent me on error. You are the maker of the heavens and the earth. 
Only you can do what no man can do. And I place demand on your anointing, on your grace, Lord. I request that every of such laws, there shall be restoration. 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 In the name of Jesus. Somebody will receive a phone call. Somebody will receive a good news. Receive it in the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh, thank you, ancient of days. Thank you for restoration. There's somebody there. You have, you know, God had been using you in the past, and you find things happening that goes beyond your explanation. But somehow, it's like you have been left alone for so long. You don't experience that assistance again. Today, restoration has come. There's another person there. Financial power comes to you. You know, you, you, don't, you don't struggle for money. It just comes. But for some time now, it has been so difficult. But the Lord has brought restoration. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. There's another person there. You know, when they give you assignment, you try, you, other people may have tried it. They always fail. But when you do it, it works because of grace. But somehow you lost it. And the Lord is bringing restoration. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. There's also another person. You travel out of the country so easily. You apply for visa, they give it to you. Effortlessly. But recently, it had been so difficult. You struggle to travel. They, 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 they deny you. They just deny you. Not one embassy. They have just been denying you. Because the devil toy with your blessing. Now there is restoration. There is restoration. There is restoration. I see the Lord restoring spiritual graces also. Prayer grace. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Healing grace. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, ancient of days. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Hold on. I'd like you to just celebrate him. There's a song I have in my spirit. Hold on, hold on. You will do the clapping later. There's a song I'd like you to sing. I know you'll be able to sing it better than I do, but the way I sing it. You are my velocity. 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 Jesus, you are my velocity. Love with them. You are my velocity. You are my velocity. You are my velocity. Oh, 
I cannot do what my father cannot do. He has done it again and again. 